Halloween is here. It's it's right around the corner. It's next Monday, right? Monday. And yep, um, what that Monday. means is uh, all of the people that literally believe in not having fun ever are coming out to let you know that you're not allowed to have fun. Your kids are not allowed to have fun. Uh, it says, yeah. is it okay for white kids to dress up like in Kanto characters? Experts discuss cultural appropriation. Experts who, by the way, likely don't have children kids, yeah. and would never nope. uh, have to be the ones saying, I'm sorry, sweetie, even though you love Encanto or you love whatever that movie might be. Uh, you're not allowed to dress up as that character you love because we're white and we're not allowed to do that. I want to read some of this because it's the language. It's the it's the I was a social science major mm. that's written all over it. So it says every Halloween, the phrase cultural appropriation comes up in conversation, not with normal people. It doesn't. So what? <laughs> so what is that? How do we explain it to children? You don't because they're children. They don't need to have it explained to them that you're just ruining their lives. It's your own fault. And how can families make sure that Halloween costumes aren't distasteful? Boiled down, cultural appropriation is when someone dresses up as a person from a group to which they don't belong, mimicking skin color, clothing traditions, or hairstyle. Examples of cultural appropriation in kids, costume, kids, co kids Halloween costumes that are described as Mexican or Cinco de Mayo that come with a sombrero or ponchos, Arab uh, with robes or Native Americans uh, or the Native American princess theme, they call it, uh, with a feathered headdress. These costumes often draw on racist or discriminatory, discriminatory stereotypes, says Shannon Speed, the director of the American Indian Studies Center, an association in association professor in gender studies Ew. and anthropology at UCLA. Native American Ugh. costumes, for example, depict people with extraordinary traumatic history of genocidal violence and brutality. Listen, okay. With adults, with adults, I could understand these arguments. I still think you're an overly sensitive douche. But with children, there is none of that malice to which you're attributing to wearing these costumes. You could say that the adult is ignorant of the oppression or whatever of these groups. I still think you're just being an anti-fun loser. <laughs> but with children, they are not wired that way because they have not been through enough to understand what that means. They just want to portray something that is interesting to them, that brings them joy. When you're pointing out that some costumes play on discriminatory stereotypes, you're correct if you're talking about Justin Trudeau. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That I'll understand. Okay. Blackface. Totally. Yeah. That's a discriminatory that's stereotype. That's with, the only one on there. Yes. That I, that with I a legitimately with. hateful history. But when you're talking about a 10 year old who wants to dress up as a character from Encanto or from Coco or Moana. Uh, yeah, or but, Moana, or uh, what was the other one? Raya and the Last Dragon. They're just kids. Any of these movies. Mulan, Jasmine and, uh, and Aladdin, yep. any of these characters. They don't have the same malice, the same context at all. And it's ignoring that nuance is placing so many of your own biases and it, like your unflattering thoughts yeah. on two children who do not have those unflattering thoughts. They also mentioned that you shouldn't dress up as prisoners because of the disproportionate representation of African Americans in the American prison system. Nothing. You're literally not allowed to be anything but yourself anymore. Well, they don't seem to mind if you dress up as an axe murderer. What's wrong with people? Well, Why are you okay? No, no, they're mad. You're okay they're, with that? They're, they're mad a psycho about... psycho killer, but you don't want them to have darker skin or something? What? They're mad about uh, real life. Like, you're not supposed to go as Jeffrey Dahmer this year. That's bad. Uh, so these, right, are, these right. are the red flags for cultural appropriation. It says, does your child's costume represent a culture or race of people to which they don't belong? Does your, cost, does your child's costume play off stereotypes about a group of people? Does your child's costume celebrate or exploit characteristics of a group that aren't encouraged or accepted in daily life? They're children. They're not exploiting anything. They're just going to get some damn candy from a bunch of people By the on way, their block. By the way, totally valid point, Ian. If Halloween is about uh, making fun of what's scary and frightening and what, like, makes you fear for your life so that it has less power over you. That's essentially what play is all about, even in other species. Yes. That's what Halloween is about, and kids love that. 
um, why is it okay to put fake blood all over yourself, uh, dress up like an axe murderer, dress up like Jeffrey Dahmer? People are people are murdered every day in this country. Isn't it offensive? If but dressing up with like a sombrero on is more offensive than trivializing murder. I mean, I don't agree with making rules about any of this stuff, but clearly it's a double standard. And because of the popularity of Monster, uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer story on Netflix, now you're not even allowed to dress up as him because he's a real person. I don't know. Like, where do we draw the line? It just depends on who you ask. And a lot of these people don't have kids, so they don't understand that <laughs> they, you know, Dude. clearly don't have the same bias as they do. I love it. That's that third one. Red flag is does your child's costume celebrate or exploit characteristics of a group that aren't encouraged or accepted in daily life like a murderer okay. or a zombie. Yeah. Someone with rabies a like vampire. a wolf man. Yeah. Remember? Someone that would bite your yeah. neck and drink your blood. Not encouraged in daily life. Renfield syndrome. That's a real thing. I played that character um, once. Uh, also, I want to point out this. Remember what you said about these are the people that don't have any kids. Yeah. Uh, it says one question Varner suggests that you ask your child. How do the power of stereotypes play into your costume? They won't know what the hell you're talking about, you psychopath. They, they're children. Like, uh, what? I like Stereo candy. what? I like stereos. What? 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 <laughs> you freaking nut job. <sighs> they want to ruin everything. And you know what? I can accept you trying to ruin everything to adults. Leave kids alone. Leave them alone. Let them be wondrous. Let them push boundaries that they don't know are there because they're children. You ruin everything. All these people ruin everything. It just pisses me off. I agree. Uh, so I mean, are you not allowed to dress up like a soldier because that stolen is, valor? Yeah, like, or it's like pro military. So you're you're definitely for going to war for oil if you dress up like a soldier for Halloween. Like, none of these things are getting extrapolated by other kids. This is all about experts who are in academia or are extremely insulated from the real world. They don't know what people to actually talk about with their kids. It's, and it, they're trying to parent today's children for the parents. And this is partly the parents in our society's fault for raising our kids on tablets and television and Nickelodeon and Disney and not actually like... You know what? If you don't want kids to dress up like characters from another culture's story, then don't introduce that story in the first place. Don't make movies like Coco or Encanto or Moana or Mulan or any of these things. Don't make any of those stories if you don't want kids to like them and want to dress up as those characters. Like, do we not want... like is? The idea to make everyone so terrified around other cultures that they won't spend any time around them anyways because they just don't want to offend anybody? Is that the point of this? The hell's the point of this? Uh, uh, the point of this is that they want to parent today's children on behalf of the parents. Yeah. Really. And I, I don't think that any real people outside mm. of academia are having these conversations. In 2016, Disney discontinued a Maui boys costume inspired by the film Moana. The brown outfit intended to resemble a Polynesian person's skin and decorated with tattoos sparked complaints of blackface. Uh, a cultural anthropology professor at Brigham Young, uh, it's Tavita Kali, I, I think that's pronounced, uh, at Brigham Young University in Hawaii told the USA Today in 2016, the tattoos, which are common in Polyne to Polynesian chiefs, were removed from their cultural context by appearing on a Halloween costume. The Maui costume has two strikes, taking culturally significant symbols out of context and darkening the skin uh, with a brown costume. I, I think it's different when it's a character from a movie or a TV show. Okay, if it's just like a generic costume of a generic, then you maybe have this seed yes. for a valid argument. Exactly. Not, you're not even all the way there yet. Exactly. But if it's from a movie or TV show that was offered to kids, targeted at kids purposefully yep. why would you expect them to not want to dress up as the characters they love they want why do you hate fun they this is why we can't have nice things yeah. they want it's genuinely like ruining all the fun yep. and this is now a concern also for adults um I, I think that adults can at least be held accountable for what they're wearing the kids don't have a choice i say laugh at all of it i saw a tweet from a drag queen called kimchi 
who is Asian, saying, if I cosplay a look from Encanto, would that be cultural appropriation? And there were comments ranging from absolutely to of course not. We would love if you dressed up like a character from our culture. So who are you supposed to listen to? And is there any way you come out of this situation not looking like a villain? It was the or the girl who wore, wanted to wear the uh, the the traditional Japanese dress to her prom? That was years ago. But I'm just but saying, you remember what I'm talking about, There was about, a right? girl, yeah, who wanted to wear, like, a kimono dress to her prom, and she tweeted a picture of her dress, uh, wearing her dress, and she was just this complete nobody, random person on social media that got put on blast by major media outlets for weeks and had her life ruined because of it. It speaks to what you said for right here, just how undecided they all are. It says, for example, if your child is begging for a Mirabel costume from Encanto, is that cultural appropriation or, uh, or are cartoon characters okay? Sometimes the rules are confusing to parents and experts don't necessarily see eye to eye about yeah. which costumes are fair game. So if they can't do, if the experts can't even decide, why the hell do the people and have even to? If, even if there was a consensus reached by all experts, you're not obligated obligated to take your parenting decisions from experts. Yeah. It's your kid and your family and you make the decision. So Why do they think they're authorities? They're the moral authorities over us now. It also says if you have an inkling that your child's costume is offensive, choose another one. And I'm going to read it. Here's the list of things that the other things that they tell you that you should be aware of. Uh, the elderly. Don't dress up as old people because uh, not only is ageism unkind, it can target people who are disabled. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so does that mean like somebody can't go as uh, a tra like like um, who an old Gandalf? Yeah. Uh, Don't be an old wizard. Can't be an old wizard. Uh, drugs or alcohol? Well, some adults might giggle at a toddler dressed as a marijuana leaf on Halloween. The message isn't cool. That's just moralizing. It's <sighs> stupid, but it's just moralizing. Vict victims of genocide or war? Is that a thing? Are people going as victims of genocide or war? I, I don't think so. That doesn't seem like a thing to me. But they if, even oh, said Marilyn for, Monroe. Yes, you get, and it says, and don't go as serial killers. People are curious about uh, murderer Je Jeffrey Dahmer following the release of Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story, which has led to that costume being sold uh, and banned in his likeness. Get over yourself. If you're, if, so, so what? You can watch the TV show, but to dress up as him for a costume party is somehow a step further? F off. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we do have the 10 problematic costumes. Yes. Uh, you cannot dress up as Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. You cannot make a joke about the Will Smith, Chris Rock slap. I say we go as slap. I'll, I'll go as Will Smith. You go as Chris Rock and I'll just. You can't dress up as the queen, queen because it's too soon. You can't dress up as Johnny Depp or Amber Heard because it is related to domestic violence and you're trivializing those issues. Yes. Uh, nothing related to Roe v. Wade, which I'll, I, d I don't think anyone was planning on that either. I'll go as Roe. You go Just a t-shirt that says Roe. No, the other it'll be like bloody Wade. pants yeah. with a white dress or something. <laughs> I go as Roe, you go as Wade, and somebody else can go as the V. You can't dress up as uh, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> you can't dress up as anything related to COVID-19. Okay, that I have a question about. Do, what, would you just end up going as like a, a test strip? I don't even know. Like, would as you, like a, uh, maybe you dress up as a spore. Uh, or I'll go as a, like a, <laughs> a giant syringe. Just, just as safe and effective on your oh, shirt. Oh, I love that. Um, you can't dress up as a Playboy bunny because it trivializes the trauma that uh, Hugh Hefner's ex girlfriend Holly Madison went through in the Playboy Mansion. And you can't wear a fat suit, even though Brendan Fraser just did it. In a movie. Wait, so so can you can't go as as a Playboy bunny, but can you go as Hugh Hefner? Uh, I, I guess that's loophole. still on the table. That's a loophole for you. Loophole. Just go as, just wear the, what is it, like the maroon robe that he always wore? I think the one thing I'll say is like, if it's a kid, then don't put them in a sexual costume. That is a problem. There, there are kind of adult looking costumes the for children. The one we children. talked about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't like that aspect of it, and I, I see that sometimes. And other than that, like, sure, don't do blackface. I'm pretty sure anyone other yeah. than Justin Trudeau already knows that. Yep. Anyone with a shred or of decency Ralph Northam. knows that that's... Or Ralph Northam. Yep. Anyone other than Justin Trudeau or Thank Ralph you. Northam knows that that is just common sense. Yep. 
We also have this thing that's the 17 most offensive celebrity costumes. Did you see this? Yeah, I did. Uh, we've uh, got, uh, <laughs> there's, there's some, <laughs> Kate Hudson went to the wild, wild country cult. Uh, you can see them. Oof. There's, uh, there's uh, Harry Hamlin as Sid Vicious because we know that Sid Vicious pushed the envelope with the, the imagery. That's, there's a lot of yikes. women going as Native American. Yeah, Nikki uh, Hilton, I Ellie that- Golding, Hillary Duff. <laughs> and Jason Walsh went as a pilgrim and a Native American. Uh, you just look at that and you just think about, my gosh, the world was so much different before everyone posted pic- stuff to their phone immediately after a photo was taken. Like at the very least, oof. somebody probably took this on like a crappy digital camera that eventually had to be brought home and put into an SD card reader so that they could put it on a computer and upload it. I This Heidi Klum one is terrifying. <laughs> she dressed up as a Hindu goddess with many arms. Yikes. Uh, Scott Disick went as a sheik or a Sikh. I don't know how to say it. I think it's Sikh. Uh, Tia Maori went as a geisha. Not allowed. Uh, Chris Brown <laughs> as a terrorist, even though he is already. I like a just terrorist. generally a terror. I like just just terrorist, not not a specific person in general, just terrorist. Lily Allen as Doctor Luke. <laughs> oh no! Somebody should have gone with them oh, as Kesha. No. Uh, O.J. Simpson as a gynecologist. That's great. Uh, and Pamela Anderson as a Native American. All the women just went as Native Americans. So clearly they need to be educated. They need to learn and grow and do better. And shamed. And they need to be shamed publicly, yes. So, okay. We, we agree that blackface, you shouldn't be doing blackface. That's fine. To me, it was always about whether you were playing an actual person or like whether you were trying to portray an actual person because you don't, given how much time people put into putting together costumes, you don't do it out of a place of hatred. You do it out of a place of enjoyment. Yeah, I think a lot of it's your intention. Like, uh, yeah. what's his name in uh, Tropic Thunder? Robert Downey Jr. wore blackface for that movie for the entire movie. And yeah. that was extremely ridiculously offensive. Like, yo, you want to talk about being offensive? He was making fun of a guy that wants to be black. Like, that whole thing was offensive. And they'll say, yeah. no, he wasn't wearing blackface. He was making fun of a guy that was wearing blackface while he okay i understand that argument while he was wearing blackface in a movie f- to sell tickets mm-hmm. to make money so like it's intention obviously he, it's intention yeah. if he can get away with it you you know the intentions of adults sure absolutely open for discussion and debate and we can judge people's intentions if they're adults but i hate that kids are also getting targeted in this conversation and they're essentially being punished for liking movies that portray like other children from different cultures and loving those movies. And they're essentially accomplishing what they say they want to accomplish. Right. And then shaming you for it. But you're celebrating another culture. You're being accepting and tolerant, but you still aren't doing it the right way. You can never win. Even if you are a child with no bias, no out, uh, ill intent in doing so. And it's also the parents just transposing their values onto their kids and indoctrinating them before they even have the chance to make their own mind up about it. Like, I saw another tweet from a parent that said they couldn't even throw an Encanto-themed birthday party for their daughter because they thought it would be cultural appropriation. And the, she has to refuse this kid what she wants on grounds that this kid really doesn't even understand because she doesn't have the context for it. And the, like nobody's going to stop anyone from another uh nobody in their right mind would ever tell somebody uh, a black child that they couldn't have a Batman or a Spider-Man birthday party. Yeah, it's because insane. it doesn't matter. It's about the character. It's about that child's love of that character and wanting to be to be able to celebrate it on a day that's special to them. Like this stuff boggles my mind more than anything when they involve children. And that whole first article is all about a bunch of social, uh, you know, um, uh, social science BS in trying to get parents to see the world through their lens so they can then affect your children. And that's evil. Yeah, if you want to go as Robert Downey Jr. from Tropic Thunder, I think that that would be fun. I, 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 Anybody. I, I just don't imagine anyone's going to like do that. Like Nobody's going to risk that these days. Like, at least I don't imagine I haven't even are. dressed up for like 20 yeah. years. 
We should maybe I'll go do with so on Monday. Well, I I saw one at one point that said like uh, it was like when they um they cast uh they like there was the article that we didn't cover today about Ralph Macchio ta- having to push back on Karate Kid being too white as if there haven't been karate schools here in America for seventy years, right? They and it's extremely racist to think that only somebody of Asian extraction would do karate. I think who, who sees the world this it way? It seems like we're in a state of culture shock, like global yeah. culture shock. But we're blending; the cultures are blending now with internet and. It, Which is supposedly what they want. I right? think it, it is good. It's healthy for the, yeah. the genome to have multiple genetic structures coming together, and then you, your body takes the strongest from both, you know, races, and then now you're a stronger human as a result from having multicultural parents or whatever. But the resistance against it, I don't like. I don't no, know what, where it's coming from. I they know that the CCP is very Han supremacist. They, 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 it's a, yeah. got a Han supremacy thing. I don't like racism. I don't like sup- racial supremacy. Saying you can't be that. You have to be that. I don't like that stuff. I think Hollywood can't make peace with the consequences of the messages they've pushed for yeah. the last few decades. Well, the second essentially they start- assimilation, integration, and complete uh, diversity and multiplicity comes with some tensions, yeah. some conflicts. But if it's working the way that you said you wanted it to, don't switch the narrative on everyone. Because then they're just confused. Yeah. I no one knows how to do it, do anything right and respectfully. And that's what they want. And the problem is, is the second that people start, like the second you give an inch to, to anyone that pushes back on you on stuff like this, you give them everything. Because then if you say, okay, this one thing is offensive, but this thing isn't. Like we even, we even did it. Like, right. We're like, maybe you shouldn't do blackface. And I, I do believe that you shouldn't. But the problem is the second you give any type of credence to any of the pushback, they're going to have find give them the, an inch and they take a mile yeah, and then right. all of it's bad i think that they really the critics these people they want kids to not be ignorant i mean ultimately the idea is they want kids to know about what cultures in the past suffered from so that you don't go into a blackface scenario or you wear a native american yeah. feather and not know that you're you know the the european ancestors of that maybe even of that kid came over and killed off 90 percent of the population to settle their land yeah. uh and so as long as the kids know that and they, they still are like, well, I still want to wear the, co- the cool costume. But you know the pain that those people experienced in the past. Then that's, that's the important thing, in my opinion. Have, but that's up to the parent to educate the kid. Yeah, and the experts want to take that responsibility away from parents. They mm. want to be the parents now. They're not experts either, by the way. Who, who gets to call themselves a cultural expert? That's nonsense. Only, We're all experts. Only amongst themselves. People yeah, really. in really in gender studies classes and social science departments, that's who gets to do that. And now they're butting heads with Hollywood that is offering movies like Encanto that kids are loving. It did really well. Yep. And the consequence of that is supposedly the outcome that they wanted, which is tolerance and inclusivity and... It's still not good enough. But the problem, it, it just leaves everyone scared and, and on eggshells. No one knows how to react to anything because they don't want. Uh, it it ta- it weaponizes everyone's good nature, like the good nature that I think most people have. That most people don't want to be offensive or hurt another person's feelings or make some or or make a mistake that uh, belittles somebody else's culture. But it also makes it harder for people to be open and free with their thoughts and their actions. Right? You could do something with the best of intentions, but when you're never sure how you're going to be reacted to, how something you do is going to be ra- reacted to, you're just going to choose to not do it out of fear of offending yeah that self-censorship is a tactic used by totalitarian regimes to control the population get them to turn on each other that's what we're doing here well that's what the banks are trying to do via corporations i don't like it we don't have to do it yeah thanks for watching this clip guys if you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media links are in the description below Bye. bye